What is up, Matthew Moy here. It's First Reaction Friday, so let's get right into it with Bingo Player's new song titled Everybody. Honestly, the production on that was very clean and spot on. I'm not sure if I like the vocal enough to listen to it in my everyday life, but those drops were clean, and I loved the filters, the vocoder. Everything meshed really well together. Was, that was really well produced. Next up is Running by Bro Hug. <laughs> Bro hug. If you don't, I'm already aware. That's really what they do. If you're a fan of the Mala, Matroda, more dark bass house lane, Bro hug has a lot of those. Next up, Trance Reborn by Andrew Rail. <laughs> That was actually surprisingly high octane for just your standard trance anthem, to be honest. Maybe because I'm home with all my better, more bassier speakers, but that was pretty intense. Uh, next is House by Jero. Oh, we're about to get into it. This is where the special comes off. <laughs> Go 110 in a Mercedes down the highway, like. We're adding that right, right now. We're adding that. Oh, it's getting put in so many playlists. Next up, Black Box by Dario Rodriguez. Sample. I'm not on any side, I live in the suburbs. Yeah, fuck it up. Honestly, I expected something more dark out of that song because it's called Black Box and the intro is pretty dark, but it turns to be pretty silly and fun, which I enjoyed. Next up, Get Down by New Northern. <laughs> If he made all those basses that just cut in and out, rather than just presets, very impressive, New Northern. That's how you make Complex Stroh House in 2018. You've disguised it as just Deep House, and then you actually cut in a whole bunch of interesting bass sounds. That was a blast. Next up, Higher Than The Sun, Data Life. This could be really good. Honestly, that song just wasn't data enough for me. Something I have to warm up to if they're making more ballady, <laughs> disco-y, acid house sort of music. So, pretty lukewarm on that track. That song might be pretty bad. It's just such a new territory for data life. Next up is Stay by Danik. Don't need anybody. Stay there. Anybody. Why don't you just meet me in the field? just trying to be EDM while also being pop while also being watered down Moombatone. I just don't need that from Danik. I need some more significant EDM music than that from Danik, my boy. Next up, Many Words by Drolo. Okay. Very intricate, some great melodies in there like that last drop, how it changed things up. I didn't expect those rushing synths to come in. Definitely not my favorite Drolo song, but not a bad addition either. Next up, Shake Something by Louie the Child featuring Joey Perp. It's definitely like Dark Side of the Moon, Kid Cudi era sounding. 
It's very nocturnal. Oh, I like this way more. Interested to show that to some of my friends that don't listen to EDM, see how they respond to that. Very cool. Joey Perp killed that one. Next up is Fly by Marshmallow. Honestly, it's just standard Marshmallow without a really quality vocal. I can definitely skip that Marshmallow song. Next up is Loving Me by Sunburn. <laughs> Great switch up for Sunburn. I'm usually used to more summery, springy sort of songs, but I love this. You throw this into that set where it's going from day to night, set the vibes right. Very interesting middle drop there. I didn't expect that. Definitely a cool, cool song. What? Hey, come in. Yeah. Hey. Hi. What is this? Next song is Beyond Mars by Toby Green. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was, Toby Green. That was uh, pretty bad. I mean, I'm not a big UK rap fan, so that would have been a turn off, but it just seemed like the production was very, almost like a beat you'd hear in a reality show, and definitely forgettable compared to some of the other songs, so... Very disappointed in that. Next up, Edge by Minnesota. Production excellence by Minnesota right there. Quite the journey. I'm gonna keep listening to that one for sure. Next up is Technique by Minnesota. Okay, so this is a twerk anthem or something very melodic right now. When they sweat the technique. <laughs> oh my god. Another very, very cool down tempo track. By Minnesota, kind of on a roll. Next up is Desert Diamond by Minnesota. <laughs> Desert Diamond is probably my least favorite of the three Minnesota songs we've heard so far. It's definitely more simpler than the other two, although the production still on Desert Diamond still wild and crazy and cool to listen to. Oh, and then we got the High Low VIP by Minnesota as well. Very pretty song, actually, surprising that second drop. Great production ability by Minnesota, however. Not my favorite drum, drum and bass song. It wasn't too crazy. I like my drum and bass to be pretty, like, either off the wall crazy or off the wall melodic and beautiful. That was a little bit in between. I'm going to pass on that one. Next up is My Boy, Troy Boy Remix. I have no clue what to expect right now. Boy just did his thing on that. Nothing too special with the lead, but his drums always slap and it's always a good time. Especially his unique style, it's very danceable. It is Mine by Bozzy Electric Mantis Remix. I 
survive right now. I think that song was a little bit too busy. I didn't love the drop necessarily. Don't really know where I'd play this to, to be honest. Not a huge fan of this one. I've heard better from Electric Mantis personally. Next up, Where the Wild Things Are by Zed and Olympium. Small Town DJ's remix. So hearing the first drop, I definitely thought something was missing in that second drop, but that second drop really gave an extra element that I was really looking for, so hopefully that can get cut in to some different mixes, because I think the song as a whole, it's a little too sparse, but the last drop's sick. Last song is Easy by Graves. <laughs> It's a very cool song. I think it'd be cool to play live. A little bit of an anthem, actually. I didn't, didn't expect such like a such a singable song. Definitely a good change up from the usual grave songs that I'm used to. All right, my favorites start with "Everybody" by Bingo Players. Big surprise, "House" by Jero. "Get Down" by New Northern was really good. "Get Down" by New Northern, definitely one of my favorites. "Shake Something" by Lou the Child, another cool surprise, very nocturnal. Loving Me by Sunmember is very interesting. I want to keep listening to that. The whole Minnesota Curio EP, great, great EP. I think I'm just scratching the surface with all those songs, to be honest. And then, last but not least, Easy by Graves was also a great song. As far as songs that I could have definitely have gone without listening, I'm going to say Higher Than the Sun by Data Life and Stay by Danik were both pretty underwhelming. Oh, and also the Beyond Mars by Toby Green. That song was poopy doo-doo, to be honest. So what was your favorite release of the week? I know the What's or Not album came out. I have a reaction to that. You can check that out on my channel. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been a Space Jump Friday First Reaction. I'll see you guys next time.